I am so happy to be here to see all my DXM members and leaders here. And it's your Saturday afternoon, but you are here to listen to my uh, webinar. Give yourself a big applause because you care for your health. And of course, today, uh, I will speak about how can DSM products can help to improve our immune system. What is immune system? Immune system is the defense system of human body against infection and diseases. And our immune system is essential for our survival. Without immune system, our bodies would be open to attack from bacteria, viruses, parasites, and other microbes. It is our immune system that keeps us healthy. Your immune system is just like the armies that defend your country. And your network of defense system consists of infantry, navy, air force, armed with artillery to protect your country. And same thing with our immune system. We are always look out for invaders. Once the enemy is spotted, a complex attack will take place. Function of immune system. Fighting disease-causing germs and foreign molecules, bacteria, viruses, parasites, or fungi, and to remove them from the body. The immune system also strengthens dead or dying body cells. And of course, it also destroys abnormal or cancerous cells. And you look at the picture, the bacteria looks like this, and virus is the other one on the right. Respond to infection. Our immune system reacts very quickly to any infection. But before the invention of antibiotics and vaccine, you can see that how people can survive through infections is the immune system that protects our body. What are the main parts of our immune system? The immune system is so complex. It contains a range of white blood cells, antibodies, and the complement system, like lymphatic system, the spleen, the thymus, and the bone marrow. And these are the parts of your immune system that actively fight infection. Bacterial infection, bacterial you need infection. to know the difference between bacteria and virus infection. Bacteria are single cell microorganism. They are very diverse, coming in a variety of different shapes and sizes. They can be beneficial like the friendly bacteria in the gut or harmful to human health. A bacterial infection occurs when there is a multiplication of a harmful strain of bacteria on or inside the body, and bacteria can infect any area of the body. These are the examples of bacterial infection like pneumonia, meningitis, food poisoning, and all these are caused by harmful bacteria. And the virus infection occurs when there is a multiplication of a harmful virus inside the body. And the virus infect a host to re reproduce by hijacking the cells into the cell to make more viruses. There are about 200 different kinds of viruses are known to cause disease in human. The nature of the virus, viruses are infectious. They need a host to survive and reproduce. Virus has the ability to mutate. Virus can infect humans, animals, plants, and even microorganisms. And virus is not a living cell like bacteria. No antibiotic can kill viruses. The virus is extremely small. It's 1,000 times uh, smaller than the bacteria. How does virus can spread in the body? This is an example of how an influenza virus 
goes into the body. The virus attaches to the host cell via the receptor of the whole uh, of the host cell. And then the virus re releases the content into the whole cell cytoplasm. And the virus uses whole cell to create new viral cell to create new viral contents. And the virus replicate inside the whole cells. And newly formed virus leave the whole cell. So virus consists of a lot of genetic flexibility, mutation at high rate. Benefits of mutation is because the virus uh, can survive through mutation. And mutation can happen between the virus. So it is a race between your immune system and the virus. And when someone has a virus infection, it can be asymptomatic, no symptoms. How the immune system responds to infection. When you have a strong immune system, your immune system can respond very well to the infection. So one of the response is phagocytosis. This is a process by the immune cell ingest or engulf or eat other cells or particles. So the process of phagocytosis by your immune cells often happens on a virus or the infected cells. The second way of reaction is we are cytotoxic cells. The cytotoxic T cell, it will bind to the infected cell. And the perforin makes holes in the infected cells membrane and enzymes enter into the virus cell and the infected cell is destroyed. So you can see this is a powerful response of cytotoxic cell because it promotes infected cell death. And the third response of the, in, the immune system is to interference. The interference prevent and interfere replication of the virus by directly interfering with their ability to replicate within the infected cells. They also act as signaling, it's just like phone call to the neighboring cells so that they can warn the nearby cells about the infection. And another immune response is the B lymphocytes produce antibodies and the antibodies neutralize the virus. You have good immune system at all times. But why does your immune system become weak? Due to aging, environmental toxins, chronic stress, lack of sleep or rest, lack of nutrients in the diet, overweight or obesity. So today we like to touch the topic what are the biggest health challenges during winter? Number one is body heat loss. Now winter is very cold, especially uh, in Europe. And if one don't have proper heating or you work outside the, the, the area that is so cold, and when your body cannot regulate your temperature, this can be physiological uh, process so your immune system can be affected. And of course, the physiological process can be hampered. Especially the hypothermia is the condition that have excessive loss of heat. The second problem that we face in winter is inactivity. People tend to have less, less of movement because people spend more time indoors during winter. And during the lack of activity, and exercise during the cold season, the immune system may be weakened and leading the health to be more susceptible to infections. And in winter, we have a lot of people have respiratory problems. So people tend to uh, frequently have common cold and influenza, asthma, bronchitis, or pneumonia. And during winter, 
most of the cardiovascular system and cerebrovascular system will be affected. You can see that the blood vessels during winter constrict naturally to respond to colder temperature. This is called vasoconstriction. The response is to minimize the heat loss from the warm blood to the surface of the skin when the temperature is low outside the body. When the arteries are narrow, blood vessels, the, the oxygenation is restricted. And of course, this will affect the heart, therefore increasing the risk of heart attack and stroke during winter. In this condition, the heart works harder since there is a higher oxygen demand for the body to maintain its body heat. So what is the best solution? We will avoid exposure, strengthen your immune system to its optimum level at all times, and feed your immune system. They work very hard to defend your body. How to boost your immune system? And we know very well exercise is essential as long as we live. Why exercise is so important? When you exercise, your heart will pump harder, so therefore it will improve your blood circulation. And why the blood circulation is important? Because it carries nutrients, oxygenation, immune cells to defend the body at all times. At the same time, detoxification. And when you exercise, you move your muscles. So therefore, it improves your lymphatic circulation. And lymphatic system also carries all your immune cells in the system. Exercise also enhances your oxygenation. And the second important thing that how to boost your immune system is you must have enough sleep. When you have a good sleep, your immune system is able to rejuvenate and repair the wear and tears. But people today sleep too much at the wrong time and sleep too little at the right time. We should sleep between six to eight hours daily. And we must sleep at the right time. What do we mean by sleep at the right time? We have a body clock. When you sleep at 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, you are actually giving your gallbladder and liver time to rest and repair. Your gallbladder and liver, it is a big chemistry factory for you so that you need to protect your liver because it will detox for you. To boost your immune system, you need to take care of the diet. You are what you eat. So you want to be healthy, you take more plant-based food, which are alkaline food. Any more protein and fast food, they are all acidic food. So we should maintain our healthy plate at all times. 50% of our plate should have varieties of vegetables and fruits. And 25% come from your healthy wholesome carbohydrate, like your brown rice or wholemeal bread. And the 25% is your animal protein. It can be fish or your chicken. To boost your immune system, you need to drink enough water. We know very well our body contains about 70 to 80% water. The function of the water is to transport oxygen and immune cells and also nutrients in the blood and limb. limb. And most importantly, you need water for detoxification. 